back. Troll with nasty knife. Arguably the most important scene in season one of Chuck, the moment Chuck goes from being a normal guy working on the nerd herd desk to being the most important asset of intelligence in the world. Chuck Bartowski becomes the Intercept. The codes are on the necklace. I found him. The vial. Here. No, no, it's for Ellie. No, I'm sorry. There's no debate. It has to be you. You're the intersect. I won't take it knowing that Ellie will die without it. That both of you have been poisoned too. You're a good person, Chuck, and I respect that, but I got a job to do, so take it before I shove it down your throat. Our ultimate trio are all exposed to the poison. Casey and Sarah order Chuck to take the only antidote they have, but Chuck intends to give it to Ellie. We get some great comical scenes with Casey here, who is truthfully threatening Chuck all the time whilst the poison is in effect. You do that, I'll give chase, put a gun to your head, threaten to pull the trigger if you don't take it. Would you really shoot me? No. Yeah, don't waste a bullet, we're already dead. I'm saving my sister. I got it, I got it. I got it. Well, who's better at it? I am. She is damn true, sir. My partner would rather shoot you in the face than let you get away. You call me your partner. Ah! 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 Very unsportsmanlike. Ah! I like it. As Casey said, no one who's seen La Ciudad alive has lived to tell about it. That was until La Ciudad met Chuck. La Ciudad heads to the Bymore to take out Chuck to make sure that phrase stays true but not if Sarah and Casey can help it. While Casey deals with the henchmen, we're first introduced to Casey's headbutting a punch scene, while Sarah also deals with La Ciudad. Where's Chuck Bartowski? Oh, sir, I'm just a sales clerk. Now. Take it to him now. Ah! Ah! That's what I call moving some merchandise, yeah? Where's the fire? Chuck, give me your keys. Uh, look, I don't mean to be old-fashioned, but the company only wants employee nerds driving the nerd herd mobile. Yes, Even halfway through the beginning of the pilot episode, you can see that Sarah doesn't see Chuck as a threat, and doesn't believe that he could be a danger to others, or to national security. With Casey intent on bringing Chuck in, Sarah takes a very early and very drastic step of fighting off the NSA henchman, risking her own life to get him away from Casey. But that is... Is there a problem, Agent Walker? Agent Casey is tracking the fulcrum mole, and he should have her in custody soon, so we can hold off on the Chuck transfer for the time being. I will take full responsibility. Chuck is my asset. He's my guy. Just, just give us more time, please. Please don't do this. In the finale of season one, an agent is trying to take Chuck underground to protect him from the threat that fulcrum is possessing. Sarah is in hot pursuit and he's ready to kill the agent to prevent them from taking Chuck away from his family, as well as from her. You can do that, right? 
Of course you can. You're Sarah. You can do anything. Which means we can go on a date. You can come by my cell, and we can hang out, and you can tell me who the president is. Goodbye, Sarah. Chuck. I'll save you later. I think I see a scenario where we both get out of here with acceptable losses. What exactly is your version of acceptable? Breaks and punctures, possible loss of a limb, no major organ damage. Hey, comrades. Mind if I ask you two fellows a question? Where'd you learn to tie people up? A Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon? I don't think that you're helping right now. No wonder you lost the Cold War. A couple of Girl Scouts could tie people up better than this. Pizza, what are you- Ah, okay, see, He's not known for showing his affections or his emotions, is he? But him crashing Elsa's wedding was great. Not to mention him, and Chuck, but mostly him, kicking the crap out of some guards that had them tied up. Well, they were winning the fight for most of it. That was until the guards got rid of them out the window. After a successful first mission, Chuck needed some time alone, and as he sat on the beach, staring out across the ocean, Sarah joins him at his side, as she asks him for one more thing, trust. I need you to do one more thing for me. Yeah. Trust me, Chuck. Romantic, huh, Chuck? Jealous? It was foolish. Do you really think the CIA is interested in a deli meat smuggler? Well, excuse me if I'm not Mr. Perfect Spy. Well, who's jealous now? Me jealous of you and Bryce? Never. Said everything you want to say? More or less. Good. Now shut up. You're sucking up all the air. Arguing and bickering like an old married couple, Sarah and Chuck find the package, and from opening the crates reveal what seems to be a bomb. Neither willing to back down from one another, Sarah plants a kiss on Chuck with seconds left on the bomb timer. They both share the moment together, seconds before they expect to die. I said go! Oh, I see, so you're gonna shoot me to prevent me from being blown up? That's a great plan! Why are you so stubborn? Actually, I consider this a rare moment of courage. I don't know where it's coming from. I guess you just bring out the worst in me. And you and me. It was nice knowing you. Uh, that's from, it's from Batman. Because that makes it better. <laughs> Sarah Walker. Much more than just meets the eye, Chuck can't believe his look when she strolls into the Bymore and asks him to show her around. Him being completely nuts to say no, of course agrees. Only halfway into the first episode, on a cover date, you begin to see that Sarah cares for Chuck. As Casey and his NSA henchmen close in on their location, Sarah chooses to save Chuck and run, risking her own life to save his. Credit has to go to both Yvonne and Zach here, as the chemistry they have together with only the pilot episode filmed was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. 
Telling me all of our secrets are in his head. Chuck is the computer. So, pretty please, can we defuse the bomb now? According to the schedule, the general's already on the stage. The season one top spot for me belongs to Irene DeMova. Morgan inadvertently reminds Chuck of the knowledge he possesses without the intercept the computer palm virus that Chuck turns to in his dire need, and as the bomb ticks down, he saves the lives of not only his own, Sarah and Casey's, but hundreds of others in the buildings and surrounding area as well. Way to go, Chuck. Go. Searching for porn. Mm -hmm. Porn is sexy. Get on. Yeah. I did it. I did it! I... I defused... a real bomb! <laughs> this is a real bomb! <laughs> now, on to the notable exclusions, which were some great scenes that didn't make it into my top ten. Poor old Chuck, I couldn't help but laugh over this entire segment. Casey told Chuck he needed to know how to tango, so he practiced on none other than Captain Awesome. Hey, vegetarian, no olives. It's the only thing I know about you that's true. You don't like olives. Thank you. Come in. Thank you. Chuck, ever the romantic and ever the observant, notices one true thing about Sarah is that she doesn't like olives. He goes to her apartment with a vegetarian pizza, olives picked, and pleads with her to tell him one true thing about her. I just wish I knew something real about you. Can't you just tell me just one true thing? Middle name. What's your middle name? Can't you just tell me your middle name? It's Lisa. My middle name is Lisa. You want to save our environment, huh? Take a shower, hippie. Nice job blending in with the crowd. Who are you rooting for, death? Safe to say college wasn't a great time in Chuck's life, but after being forced to revisit the college that ruined his dreams, he's caught in yet another conglomerate of bad guys, using his wits to help Sarah and Casey to even the numbers game. Oh no. Looks like someone called the cavalry. Good, because I only had one shot left. What'd you tell Chuck? That you're a cold-blooded killer. Was I lying? No. Casey thinks Sarah is the traitor, and Sarah thinks Casey is the traitor. Them two having opposing stances comes head to head with them squaring off together for the first time. Ugly! 